VPNs, true internet security or snake oil, this time on ThreatWire. Uh, a VPN is a virtual private network. They're primarily used by businesses to connect securely to the company intranet. Quick to explain what a VPN is? Yeah, it encrypts the data. It basically sets up this tunnel of your information that no one can hack into. It basically scrambles all the information, your usernames, your passwords, any of your transactions. And it basically allows you to create your own small internet out of your own computer, and it allows you to bypass a lot of these restrictions. This should be no surprise, but the mainstream media is amazing at fear-mongering the evils of, well, pretty much any topic. And when it comes to computer security, while they can dose out the FUD in spades, when it comes to the practical advice, it's always the same old tired, get a VPN. What's that? So to grandma sitting at home thinking WTF VPN, here's to you. A VPN or a virtual private network is not a silver bullet to security. I'm gonna say that again, it ain't Jack. You see, network security, I mean security in all points of the universe, it's, it really comes down to trust. And the question is, who do you trust? Do you trust your mom, your ISP, the NSA? When you go online to do something sensitive, like online banking, for instance, do you trust your laptop? Do you know who made the silicon inside of that machine? Does the manufacturer even know what's inside of that machine? Do you know who wrote the operating system or the network stack or that bright and cheerful web browser application with the cute little lock icon? I mean, it is so much harder to trust an unknown entity than it is to trust your neighbor Bob. He's a cool guy. But ultimately though, to function in a modern society, you, you have to go, give some inherent trust to those systems, much like you have to accept the level of risk associated with that. So when you use a VPN, well, while what you're really doing is creating a secure encrypted tunnel between two points, be it your laptop and say some server in the cloud somewhere, Essentially what you're doing is you're giving your data to that VPN server. And at that point, it gets poured out unencrypted onto the public internet. So while a VPN does protect your sensitive internet traffic from would-be eavesdropper between you and say, an open Wi-Fi network at the airport or you know, uh, at the hotel, and your VPN server of choice, it, it doesn't really do much for you after that. You see, once your internet traffic gets to the VPN server, it hits the open web, and then you're back to where you started, which is relying on non-VPN security, like HTTPS. And most importantly, when you're creating this shielded tunnel between you and the VPN server, you're actually handing over all of your internet traffic to that VPN provider, be it your local ISP or a Raspberry Pi in your closet, or a bunker in the Swiss Alps. I mean, I know there are some crazy VPN providers out there, which begs the question, who's running this VPN? You know, what's their privacy policy? What's their security history? Who are their corporate or government overlords? I mean, how many national security letters have they received or even publicly acknowledged? You know, when you're connected to a VPN server, that server has direct access to your computer. And a VPN provider can eavesdrop on your internet traffic, they can log it forever, they can modify the bits in transit, you know, do something as innocuous as inject some advertisements into your web page, or as malicious as a full-fledged man in the middle attack against some of your most sensitive browsing sessions. So the fact is, a VPN simply shifts the point of trust. And, and maybe that's a good thing, you know, maybe you trust your ISP at home and that server in the closet over, say, the free Wi-Fi at the airport or the hotel. I mean, I know I would, but unfortunately, a VPN can also give a very false sense of security. Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying VPNs are bad, just that you should know what you're getting into before signing up for that bargain $2 a month VPN, because you could end up getting a lot more than you bargained for. Now, I can't tell you which VPN to trust. Hell, I don't even trust my own Comcast line here. But I do want you to be aware of the fact that a VPN isn't the end all be all of securing your connection. So, regardless of whether or not you're using a VPN to secure your online banking or just to watch Netflix, be aware of what you're handing over. And now, that's why I wanna know, what are your thoughts? Do you swear by a particular provider? Are you rolling your own at home? Or have you gone full dark net and you're never looking back? I look forward to hearing your comments. With that, I'm Darren Kitchen for ThreatWire. Stay safe. I'll see you on the internet.